All right, finally, I want to talk a little bit more about um, uh, universities. Uh, I mean, it, it is, uh, we're really, I think the American people are really discovering, um, maybe to some extent the first time, because this is such a visceral issue and it's such a blatant and obvious issue, they're discovering how bad the administrations and many of the professors at America's top universities really are, whether it's Columbia University, Harvard University, where the administration has chosen explicitly to tolerate student organizations and student protests that are clearly coming out in favor of Hamas, that are clearly supporting the, the terrorism, the horrific murders, the massacre, the rape, the, 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 the destruction, that, uh, the, the slaughtering of babies, of children, the kidnapping of people that Hamas engaged in. Um, and and the, the, the university administration is at best coming out with lukewarm condemnation of it and then making the same kind of moral equivalence argument as, as the kind of the big L libertarians have done and, and many on the left are doing. Um, and allowing, there are no repercussions of these students. These students are calling for murder. These students are saying murder is okay. Now, they've got free speech rights, but that does not mean you can say anything at a university. A university is private. It's, it's, in a sense, private property, and the university has a right to say, you're not welcome here anymore. If you hold these views, we don't want you. Imagine, imagine if the KKK had a demonstration at Columbia University advocating for the reinstitution of Jim Crow laws of, of slavery. Imagine if that happened at Columbia. How long would the students who participated in that kind of demonstration, how long would they remain students at Columbia, Harvard, University of Pennsylvania? Five minutes? Two minutes? One minute? Maybe half an hour it would take them to kick them out of school? Suspend them? It would be done like this. I mean, we've seen cases where, I don't know, uh, students uh, uh, say something uh, racist. Or, or, or a team, a sports team, says something racist or uses racist slur or uses racist symbolism, and, and the university administration goes apoplectic and those students are penalized and they, they, are, they, are, they are, you know, and I think justifiably penalized. I'm, I'm not against the universities doing that. I think that's right. They should do it. And yet, celebrating the murder of young children, celebrating the rape of women, and the administration says nothing. There's no penalty. There's no issue. There's no problem. Blaming Israel for the animalistic behavior of Hamas, animalistic behavior that they documented and put up on Telegram and on Twitter themselves. I mean, is there anything more disgusting than that? Than murder, rape, torture? And to have students to have students at your university go out there and celebrate this and declare support for this, that should be grounds for immediate dismissal from the university. And the very fact that they're not doing that puts uh, Jewish students, Israeli students, students who just support Israel at real danger. These people are advocating for violence. They're advocating for murder. How do we know that they're not going to instigate it themselves if they think it's such a wonderful idea. I don't know if you saw that professor literally saying he was exhilarated by what he saw from Hamas. Exhilarated. By murder and torture and rape. These are animals. These are nihilistic animals. And, and the idea that a professor would say that and not suffer any consequence. Again, imagine that professor making a racist comment, a homophobic comment, a comment against trans. How long would they be at the university? And yet, to celebrate the killing of Israelis, to celebrate the killing of Jews, that's fine. No problem. No problem. You can do that on American universities, and you suffer no consequences. No consequences. And, and if you don't believe me, the professor is saying this, you can find their videos on YouTube, because YouTube might... Uh, uh, take my videos offline because I say something they don't like about COVID, 
me, right, about COVID. Uh, but they have no problem uh, putting up online and keeping online um, uh, anti-Semitic propaganda, uh, the vilest comments and the vilest videos that celebrate violence. Go figure the, 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 the community standards of the Twitter and all these other networks. It's, it's just a, 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 an unbelievable mess. Unbelievable mess. And, and it, 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 hypocrisy and bias and, you know, but, but what about Israel? Yeah, I mean, that's, that's what you hear from them. The good news, there is good news, and we'll end on the good news. The good news is the donors are waking up. Harvard has lost two major donors, including the Wexler uh, family. <laughs> Wexler family is kind of a, it's a little embarrassing. I mean, what, isn't the Wexler family the family that basically was involved with, uh, with Epstein uh, and, and the, the, the pedophile? And, uh, I mean, Wexler gave, I think, uh, Epstein the, 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 his initial in in the financial world and made, made, uh, gave him a lot of money, a lot of money. And um, who knows what kind of involvement he had in some of the other activities that um, Epstein was involved in. Um, but anyway, Wexler Foundation is withdrawing all their funding from Harvard. Uh, an Israeli billionaire is withdrawing his support for Harvard University. Uh, we also, I just heard that uh, somebody who I know personally, uh, and, and I'm really happy to hear this, uh, Cliff Asnas uh, of AQR uh, is uh, withdrawing his support from the University of Pennsylvania. I heard a number of, uh, I heard Mark Rowan, who's also somebody I know uh, of Apollo uh, Private Equity. Is it Apollo? Anyway, big private equity fund firm is also withdrawing his support from the University of Pennsylvania. So um, a lot of donors uh, are stepping forward and acting and doing what's necessary. I've always said the way, one way to deal with the corruption, uh, intellectual, philosophical, moral corruption on American universities is uh, to withdraw support, to withdraw the funding. If every businessman in America stopped supporting his enemies, i.e. the universities, the university would starve, uh, and and uh, so so um, it's great. It's great. Um, it's uh, it's great to see. Um, it's great to see this happening, and it's uh, uh, good for Cliff, good for Mark, uh, good for the rest of them. Uh, and keep it up. We need more and more and more uh, American success, successful businessmen who are on boards who are giving money to, even if it's just a business school, it doesn't matter, withdraw your support from universities that do not take an unequivocal, clear stand, unequivocal, clear stand about these issues.